Bitmaps are pretty much the simplest image storage format and they're so simple that we can actually see what's going on in the file. We're going to do that right now. So I'm in paint.net. I'm going to make a new image. You could do this in any uh, image editor. Paint.net works for me. I've made a super small image. It's only four pixels by four pixels. I'll zoom in on it. Uh, we can see that. Now I'm going to set this up in such a way that I can see what's going on when I actually look inside the file. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill it with black. I like to use black here because when we have no red, no green, no blue, and which makes it all black, the hexadecimal is 0000, zero, 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 zero which is um, makes it really easy to see other colors as we put them in. Talking of other, other colors, uh, let's grab some color. Uh, I'm going to go with a bit of red and I'm going to make it all red. So uh, the RGB is going to be all the red 255, no green, no blue. So the hexadecimal there is FF0000. So we should be able to see that FF stand out. So let's just put a couple of blobs of red so we can see that. And I'll save this as a bitmap. And I'm going to call it bitmap demo 2 because I've already done one earlier. And I need to save it as 24 bit because that will, if we do 24 bit, that's 8 bits per color channel. So we'll see the hexadecimal uh, exactly as we see here the red, the green, and the blue channel, the FF00 and the OO. Saved. I've opened hexed.it, which is just a way of looking directly at the values in the file. And if I say open file and show me that file, it shows me the actual hexadecimal values. And at the start of the file, you can see there's a few um, extra values. This is like metadata about the file, file type, things like that. Uh, mostly the file is full of zeros. That's all that black. So these are triples of uh, the red, green, blue channel and making black because they're all zero. But right down here, we can see we've got this must be red, green, blue. So that's the one pixel that's red and red, green, blue. This is another pixel that's red. So we can actually see it happening right here. Now we can also change things and we can say let's put a couple of different pixels in. So I'm going to go right to the end of the file here. I'm going to make this file red as well. So I can edit it. So this one is an FF. And while I'm here, I'm going to make this one green. So this red, green, blue channel. I'm going to make this one fully green. And one more. I'm going to do this one red, green, blue. And we'll make this pixel blue. Now one thing I do know I export this is that uh, the bitmap format used here uh, doesn't do quite what you'd think. You'd think this would be adding on to the end of the file. You'd think that the pixels would go from top left to bottom right, but it turns out they go from top right and they go right to left. So when I actually look at this bitmap and zoom in on the changes that I've made, uh, that blue one is on the top right and then we've got the green and then we've got the red that work it's not even doing what I said is it it's something like that though and you can see I added in the green pixel I added in the red pixel maybe that one at the end is just a play, an end of file marker I'm not sure uh, but I think my principle is proved and I'm happy that we've been able to edit this to show how images are stored um, pixel by pixel with a red green blue channel in a bitmap Job done.